Hi, I'm Carl Franklin. In this episode of Blazor Train, I'm kicking off a new series on the new features of .NET 9 for Blazor developers with detecting render and interactivity modes. Simply put, you can now determine the interactivity mode at runtime. This is especially helpful when determining whether interactivity has kicked in after pre-rendering. Oh yeah, auto mode now works as expected. Auto mode means the first interactivity mode after static server-side rendering is server. It sets up quickly and runs interactive code on the server while the WebAssembly files are downloaded in the background. After the WASM files have been downloaded and the page is refreshed, interactivity switches to WebAssembly. This is particularly helpful and it works great now. And that's coming up right now, right here on Blaze a Train! So with this demo, I'm going to create a new Blazor web app. It's going to be called What's New in Blazor 9. I know I'm not covering everything that's new in Blazor 9, but this is where we're going to start. It's going to be .NET 9. Uh, it's going to be auto mode and global location. So this is what you should end up with. All right, so let's take over the home page, the home razor page. All right, so let's talk about this guy right here at render info. Render info is part of component base, so it's a property that's in every uh, component or page, and it has all sorts of things that you can use to query the state of the, the render, the rendering, right? The rendering location, whether or not it's interactive. Uh, you can see it has a name property which will be, you know, SSR, server, WebAssembly. But it also has this is interactive. And this is great for enabling and disabling UI based on whether you have interactivity. But if you're pre-rendered, the buttons just don't work. So it's nice to disable the UI uh, or put a loading spinner or something like that if render mode inter is interactive is false. And I also have a button click here with a, a set message handler. And all we're doing here is saying button clicked at yada yada time. And that's just so that, you know, we know we have interactivity. We know it's working. So let's see what happens here when we run it. Okay, so static means server-side rendered. That means there's no interactivity. But now it jumps to server. And because we have interactivity, we can use the button click. Okay. So now all of the WebAssembly files are downloading in the background. And if we wait long enough and we refresh, we go from static to WebAssembly. Right. So now we're running in the browser. Now there's another property of the uh, component base, which is assigned render mode. And this is the render mode that you specified when you created the project. So server, WebAssembly, static, or auto. In our case, it's auto. So this isn't something you would typically show the user, but it is useful for you in your code to determine what the intention was. So there it is. Assigned render mode is uh, Microsoft ASP.NET Core Components Web Interactive Auto render, render Mode. And then it changes to Web Interactive Web Assembly Render Mode. So there you go. So these little modifications uh, might seem trivial, but if you've lived through Blazor in .NET 8 and sort of the problems that came along with rendering and uh, location and modes, and specifically, you wanted to use the auto render mode. Um, it, it sometimes worked, it sometimes didn't. For me, anyway, my experience was that I couldn't rely on it. So I'm really, really glad to see that Microsoft made this right in .NET 9. And I would encourage you to use auto mode now. 
uh, if you eventually want to wind up in WebAssembly, but you like the fast startup features of server-side rendering. Now back to you in the studio, Carl. As I said, this is just the first in a series on the new features of Blazor and .NET 9, and I can't think of a better way to ring in the new year, uh, except maybe for... Uh, hey, hat boy, I'm packing as fast as I can! Well, let's just say I hope your new year is as good as mine. <laughs> hey, thanks for riding the rails with me today. This is where I jump off. I'll see you next time. Place a train!